Hi everyone. How you guys doing today? Today is August 21st. Just wanted to show you guys what I was going to fix for dinner today. I am going to be making me some pizza. Look at this you guys. This is goat cheese, spinach, and tomato pizza. I'm going to be having that. And I'm also going to be putting together some asparagus. These actually have to be cut. So I'm going to rinse these off and cut them sideways and saute them. That's what we will be having for dinner today. And I'm going to be adding some garlic cloves with that. So yes, you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. Let me know what you're going to be cooking today for dinner. I love vegetables. Like all sorts of vegetables. Like every day. I have to have like extra. It just tastes so good. And they're good for you. We all know that. Brussels sprouts or any like leafy green, green green is real good for you, especially heart health, uh, prevents cancer, and all those good things. Yeah, you guys, so I'm just slicing the Brussels sprouts in half like that, as you can see, and you just lay them down flat. You add a little seasoning little oil. I'm going to be adding a little bit of vinegar in mine. Just a little bit of the bread vinegar with the seasoning to give it a little taste. And I'm just going to take these garlic cloves. I'm just going to cut them. Basically, I'm just cutting them in half like that. I'm going to add them in there. Uh -oh. One fail. You know what that means. Pick it up and wipe it off. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I really keep my house clean, you guys, so I don't have a problem doing that. Okay, so that's that. I'm going to turn the oven on bake, and we're going to let that preheat. And I'm going to add here some, this is some Goya seasoning that I'm going to add for my Brussels sprouts with garlic. And I think I'm going to add, you guys, I love basil, so I will be adding some basil too. I'm going to add that to my pizza. My spinach and goat cheese pizza. Like I said, you guys, I love, I love vegetables. Yeah. Let me know what you guys are having for dinner today, like I said. I would really like to know. Okay, that's that. And I don't know, do you guys use uh, dill weed? This is dill weed, it's really green. You can put it on poultry or whatever you like. But I'm gonna be putting a little bit of that on my pizza too. Just to give it a little kick. My oven, I just heard it kick on, so it's preheating. I think I'm going to add some to my Brussels sprouts, too. Put a piece away. Oh, you guys, I said I was going to be adding my vinegar. I have the Bragg's vinegar, but I think I might, I don't know, maybe I'll try two, two different kinds. I have the, um, no, this is not Bragg's. This is the apple cider vinegar. This is from Trader Joe's. So I'm going to add just a little bit of that for my just to give it a little kick. I was going to use just some regular vinegar that I put inside of a container here. One of my glass containers. You guys know how I do it. I don't like plastic, so I store everything in glass containers. Now I'm going to try to attempt to get something to saute my... Uh-oh. I just don't want my camera to fall, you guys. I got it propped up on something. 
by the refrigerator, so I'm trying to get the coconut oil. Okay, I was able to get it. But I'm going to be using the, what is it, Simply Nature coconut oil from Audi's. I'm going to be putting that, adding a little bit of this. So I can saute my vegetables. I think that's not. The rest I will add on top of my pizza. Just to give it a little coconut flavor. Just get this turned on a little. Oh, I'll show you guys what it looks like. That's the Brussels sprouts with the garlic and a little bit of coconut oil. I'm going to turn this on. This is the quick boil, but I don't think it's going to really be quick, but I just want to show you guys what it's going to look like a little bit. And I'm going to add my pizza into the oven, but look at this, you guys. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? Yummy, yummy. So yes, like I said, this is feta cheese, goat cheese, spinach, tomatoes, and like I said, I sprinkled basil on here. I sprayed, uh, I sprinkled a little bit of, um, what was that? Uh, gush, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, the dill weed. I sprayed, I put a little, I sprinkled a little bit of dill weed on there. So this is going to go in the oven. I'm going to put it on top. And I'm just going to wait for my Brussels sprouts to get finished. Sauteing. I don't eat fried food, you guys. It's just not really healthy for you. So I don't know if you guys are into sauteing, but you don't have to like put your vegetables in like a lot of water because when you cook them in water, it takes away uh, from the actual flavor and it takes away from the vitamins that you will get in your um, in your vegetables. And also, it's better. It's I think it's like vitamin A for you, vitamin C and vitamin A in your vegetables. But if you boil them or you overcook them, you're taking off, off taking out all the nutri all you, the nutrients that you need in your body, you guys. For your skin, for your hair, you know, all that kind of stuff. But yes, you guys, my Brussels sprouts are getting ready to cook. As you can hear, probably. You probably can hear. But you just saute them a little bit on both sides. You can just turn them over. I don't eat much. A lot of times I don't even eat meat during the day. Sometimes I don't even eat meat. It could be three days or two a week. So you don't have to have meat every day as long as you have maybe something to, you know, offset that. I think you'll be fine. This is looking good, you guys. I can't wait to eat. I'm like really hungry. Really hungry today. It's pretty late too. I don't like eating after seven o'clock. I really don't. But I'll show you guys because now it's cooking. You see it? Now it's actually sauteing a little. Let's turn it down a little bit. Yeah, but you just let them cook on one side, you know, and then when they're finished, you let them cook on the other side. So I'm going to flip them back over. So yes, you guys, this is my dinner for today. Hope you guys enjoyed my video. Let me know, like I said, what you guys are going to eat today. Give me some suggestions of some things I wish I can show you. What, you know, as far as cooking, a cooking menu or anything like that. But there it is, you guys. They're really cooking and you can really hear it. And my pizza's in. Pizza's in the oven. Okay, you guys, I'm going to go now. I hope you guys enjoyed my video today. Have a blessed day and a blessed week if I don't see you. Bye. Okay, you guys, I'm back and I wanted to show you the finished meal. I am back. Going to cut this baby. Look at that, you guys. Look at that. Look at that. 
I think I might have overcooked it just a little bit, but that's okay. We're gonna still make the best out of it. I might have me two pieces of this. This is really looking good. I don't think the pizza itself, like it's, I think the crust is just kind of hard, you guys. But not the actual pizza. Yep, I think I'm gonna have me two pieces. That turned out really good, you guys. I just had to preheat the preheat the oven to 350. I left it on for about, I don't know, maybe about 15 minutes. And it really looks good. Like I said, feta cheese, goat cheese, spinach, tomatoes, some seasoning. You can make your own uh, bread, you know, your own dough for your pizza. Add your little toppings and you'll be all good to go. And here you guys go. This is the cooked vegetables. They might look a little burnt, but they're not. But I'll show you guys after I put them on my plate what it looks like. I'm going to be eating all of these. This was the Brussels sprouts, the garlic. I added a little bit more spinach. So I will show you guys in a sec here what this concoction looks like. This is going to be my dinner for today. I'm going to let you guys check it out for yourself. Look at that. Look at that plate, you guys. Yum, yum. I can't wait to eat. I'm so thankful to have something to eat. Yes, you guys, this is my goat feta cheese pizza. There is no meat. There's tomatoes and spinach on there, and I have my Brussels sprouts with garlic. Yes, you guys, so I'm going to get ready to eat my dinner, and I'll see you next time in my next video. God bless you guys, and have a great day. Bye-bye.